good morning everybody and welcome to travel day so it is tuesday the 20th of december um if you're not new to our channel i'm laura we are ohana of three um i'm laura and is here sorting the cases and here is matilda hello <laughs> Also, so, I have something I want to Oh, my son done some drawing last night, aren't you? She always draws on this like, little paper in the back. So she do some elves. I think they're really good as well. They're a really good job. Yeah, I figured out how to do the belts. Yeah. The belts are a hard bit they're to do. They're a hard bit. I've done really well. So we are just packing up the room now and getting everything sorted. We're almost done. Um, we did the clever thing like we normally do. Just a little tip is we got a trolley last night from downstairs so literally outside the radisson um the, like, up, the upstairs bit where the lobby is as you go out to go to the terminals there's a bank of trolleys and it was like was it like a one pound coin or something it's one pound or two dollars um, yeah so make sure you do bring a one pound coin with you um so one pound coin that's another point actually when you get out at the airport on the way back it's five pounds isn't it remember how many people that didn't have any money no it was a pound but they don't think card Oh, is that what it is? A pound on the way back? Because nobody had change at the last time. Everyone was asking each other for change when we went to Florida. Um, so we always get it the night before, bring it up, put it in the doorway, and then in the morning we can just That's pack it up and take it straight idea. down instead of having to take like everything down individually. Um, it's just a lot easier and we're all packed up and ready to go. So I've actually got a little surprise for Matilda this morning. So I'm going to flip the camera while I give it to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's put the card to one side and gone straight for the present. I love that. Here we go. It's a snowman book. Yeah, but do you know what it is? I it's bought it for you. And yeah, and Luca. I know you spotted them because I bought one yeah. for everybody and you spotted them and I was like, no, I can't believe she's seen it. But if you open it up, so maybe Daddy help you. Daddy, yeah. So open the wrapping and then inside, so a lady handmade these. Yeah. So the she's room. sewn it all together. So you open it like that and it opens up. So it's like this together. It's got a little Velcro on it. It opens up. And one side here has a colouring book, a notebook with lined paper in, and then like pencils. And should you could obviously put your own like felt tip pens in, you could put whatever you want in it, and then it all just folds and sticks back together. But I just thought it was a really nice idea for going on the plane, even just like to carry around in a bag when we're in New York, like when we're on tubes or trains and things. Um because what you could carry it around, couldn't you? Like in a little backpack with us, Amazing. and then she can get it out. And then where's your, let's look at your the card. card is plus Matilda. I know, you know what? I started writing it out and realised that I'd wrote your name in it, even though it was for you. Because I'm automatically on mode of Mummy, Daddy and Matilda. And then I put Jasper. So read what does it say? <coughs> it says, to Matilda, we hope you have the best time ever with us in New York. Merry Christmas. I can't believe this is your 10th Christmas with us. Love Mummy, Daddy and Matilda. <laughs> and Jasper. And Jasper. Woof. <laughs> and then show the front of it. I thought it was nice. Look, Christmas wishes with Minnie Mouse. Attractive. Okay, so what do you think? I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to get that packed up now in your little bag. So Matilda's actually brought this bag, which she's had for years, but she's decided to bring it with her. So it's a little Calf Kidston um, bag. So she's got a switch in there, a book. What have you got? You've got your switch, a book, and your carrots, Teddy. Yeah. And now you've got your little drawing in there. Well, Should be nice, won't it? All packed up. I know, we've got loads of lounge wear, but it's softer, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I could have brought my character one, but like, mm. lounge flies are heavier in a way. Yeah, you wanted to bring that. Well, I've got my lounge fly, so I'll show you. So everything, oh, he's done well, he's packed everything up. Well done, Teddy. So I've got everything packed. So I brought my christmas lounge bag i nearly brought the ears as well but then i thought we don't really need to do i because it's a bit strange walking around new york in uh, disney snow ears um but anyway so i did mine and matilda's 
hair last night as well and it stayed in so i french plaited it last night and so we've got all our hair done i did matilda's as well even though you can't see because she's currently been a Hello. teenager of a hood up hey i'm saying i french plaited all your hair didn't we last night yeah. but i can't believe how long her hair's got so she needs a haircut no, I don't. <laughs> I want to do what I did in lockdown, not have it cut for nearly four years. Right. It wasn't four years in lockdown, crikey. Fine, it was only two. Right, well, anyway, we're going to move on from that. So we're going to leave the room now, I think, yeah. aren't we? And we will catch yeah. up with you in the, ho in, in the hotel. <laughs> in the airport. Yeah. And we're all checked out and off we go. And the escalators are not working again. I can't believe that they're not working. Again, last night after saying they'll work in the morning. It's still not working. You see it it's every rubbish. Time, every time. They don't work. The thing is, we can't want it now. We, last night we did just walk on it because sometimes it's quicker just to walk on it, especially when, well, like us now, we've got this trolley, so obviously we're going a bit slower, aren't we, on this side? So last night we just walked on it, but we're making the two minute walk over to the terminal. And it's nothing like when we checked in for Orlando. <laughs> There's actually like nobody here, it's really good. Woohoo! Look at this, this is nice. So you've got check in one way and bag drop the other way. Which doesn't make sense because you've got to drop your bags, haven't you? Oh, we've already checked in. Oh, okay, so we're just bag drop then, aren't we? So the self service bag drop area does say premium over there. So do you want to do that way and then you know you've done it? So we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're going round. It's a bit confusing because there's an Aer Lingus flight like checking in right here, which makes it look like that's the queue for security, but it's not. And I think a good way to tell is that the fact that they've all got large suitcases. Yeah. So you know that's not going to be security because you're not going to be going in with a large suitcase like that. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my coat because We've all brought a huge coat. So obviously, when we get out in New York, we thought it might be freezing. But I did say to Aunt, we probably could have actually put the coats in the case because we're going to get out into a taxi. Um, I'll have a sip. So we're just going to have a little sip of our water, throw it in the bin, and then head through security. Okay, so we're through security. Um, so as you come through, you've got a WH Smith's here. So all the classic kind of things. Then there is a Costa Coffee there. You can't go back to that way to security, but you can come because <clears throat> you kind of go through duty free to the next bit, but you can come back to WH Smiths and stuff like that. So I think sometimes like people think you can't, but you can, you can come back to get through to other little bits. So we're just going to have a little look around the duty three. Um, it's almost time to go into the lounge. We can get in at nine. It's like five to nine. So I just kind of want to have a little nosy here first and then we will go through. So we'll see what so they've got all that to be nice. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so I'm not really sure like what the price of it would be. I know once I did get the Jo Malone perfume because that was cheap. Um, and I do normally buy the foundation, but I only bought it in August, so I don't need any more. Um, just proves how long it's lasted actually, because I bought yeah. that Clinique foundation in August and I don't need any more um, in the duty free. I think it was only about two pound cheaper, but it was still a little bit cheaper. Then you've got all of the wine whiskey beers oh this must be like a new kind of fragrance normally they have like different different ones there don't like depending yeah. on who's brought out something new and then you've got the next section which is a lot of like beauty stuff again and then they do tend to have like oh yeah so the confection is over them and they have toys and games and stuff don't they as well um and then i think that's it for the duty free isn't it then then it just kind of goes into normal shops doesn't it and little bits of things so i think we'll catch back up in a minute so we've just come out of the duty free there straight into a jd well next to jd and we're going for the aspire lounge so we're going straight ahead and then i can see on that sign there it's telling us to go to the right um so that's where oh so there's another boots over there beauty makeup there's an accessorize there looks like there's a wagamama and the ale house up there another world duty free i'm just going to go and stop and tell that he's going the wrong way oh well, i can see now it's there there's another sign there through that little kind of arrow so over there so we've got world duty free yeah well you kind of you could have gone around the other way um oh this is like another little electronic shop isn't it and the bookshop by wh Smiths. so i think it is literally i think it's going to be through this thing where all these people yeah. are going through here 
yeah, the Sparry Lounge through that way. So we've basically come down the side of JD, straight ahead, and then we've come on a, on a little angle. So you could have just come round that way past yeah, that WH Smith's yeah, right. and cut through. Yeah, so basically opposite WH Smith's and then it says Aspire Lounge this way. But there's also gates this way, so this is a bit confusing. Oh, I've got to go down as well. Okay, so we're sat in the lounge now. We got to the front of it and it said, um, unfortunately we are at capacity and cannot take any more, like any more people. So I was like, oh my gosh, don't tell us that. Okay, we definitely booked it. Um, but when we came in, because we had a book and we did let us in, um, thank goodness. Because I was like really worried they were going to say, I'm sorry, but there's too many people in there. If you're booking, you can't come in. Um, it is pretty crowded in here, so we need quite close together with the tables and stuff. But we managed to get a window seat, so we can kind of see some of the pens there, some of the little bits of stuff that's going on. So hopefully that will keep Matilda entertained. Um, she's gone with Aunt now to go and see what she can get. So I will go over there in a minute and show you as well. Okay, so it's actually really small in here, but they've got um, cereal, so individual cereal selections. They've got some um, mini pan of chocolates, mini croissants, with all the jams and things. And in here it says pancake maker. Press OK to make your pancake. And they've got like yogurt, granola, fruits, milk, and then what's in this one? Is it beans or something? And they've got beans, farms, and they've got hash brown, tomato, bacon, sausage, scrambled and scrambled eggs. So you've kind of got like a full, well, kind of a full breakfast, haven't you? Yeah. Scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, hash brown, tomato, beans, fruit, crackers, cereal. And then they've got a full bar here. I'm not sure what, is there like a menu for the bar or is it just a generic? There is like wine and stuff, isn't there? And yeah, and then there's like soft drinks as well. And then around this section here, <clears throat> um, just over here, there looks like there is um, tea and coffee as well. So there's some high stools here. So we got sat there originally in that little corner, um, which was quite nice because it is a little bit more quiet there, but we were kind of a bit secluded. So we went over there in the window. You know, I'm not sure if maybe there would be a little bit better just to kind of, a bit, but I suppose we can always move back over there. Um, so this thing, so they've got a full kind of coffee machine here. They've got free Wi-Fi, and they've got little biscuits there. Uh, they've got twinings, they've got all different tea bags. I mean, it kind of goes right back there, but these, the rest of it is just kind of like little chairs like this all the way down there. Um, so I'm gonna get something to eat now. And we're out the lounge. Um, so it is just coming up to 10 to 11 and they said boarding would start at like 10 past 11 um, and they said about 10 to the board it would get a gate um, so we came out the lounge and and Matilda have gone over there to Boots just to go and get a bottle of water I know you get drinks and stuff on the plane but I like to just have a bottle of water in my bag just so I know I've got water and then when we get out at the other side like waiting for cases and things I know that I've got a drink with us um so they've gone over there I was just having a little look in accessorize um it's a shame because they've got no like like obviously I've got a hole in my jeans last night and I've sewed it but there's no kind of places like that um but this is obviously like jumpers a couple of jumpers but most of it's kind of like more summery stuff and they've got a couple of scarves and then they've got like JD which is obviously all your sporty stuff and then that's it there's no other really shops um, of anything and I know I suppose I think years ago like they used to have like a Dorothy Perkins which is obviously shut down so I remember getting some stuff from one of them once um, like years ago me and Aunt went to Florida at Christmas I think it was that I got some stuff from there but I'm just waiting for them two to come back from Boots and then I'm going to go and see if we've got a boarding gate yet and then I think we'll probably be heading over there um, we have a gate we're going to gate 206 which is in the old part of the airport so we've just gone back past the security area um, and we're following the Virgin Cabin crew along, so we'll see you soon. And here is the plane. We are on Champagne Bell. That would have been Champagne oh, Supernova, but Champagne, Champagne Bell. Uh, it's an A330, so we're just waiting to board now. Um, we're in the old part of the terminal. It's really weird seeing how it used to look. We've flown from this gate a few times, so it's, it's just weird not having the air hockey table here that we used to play with. But we're here, we're waiting to be boarded, so we will bring you up. Here we go, getting on board. 
around. Super exciting. Oh, we're stuck, we're stuck. <laughs> so here we go. Hello, how are you? Hi, fine, okay. thank you. Oh, Welcome that's the way the back. This is the way here. She's thinking that you have to go through there, but at least we know what we're going to get on the way back. And this is the way here, Hello. I think. Hi. You're all right. Yes, thank you. Yeah. If you need anything at all, just shout. All right. Thank you. So it looks like we're here, so we're premium today, which means we're in these seats that are a bit wider. And we've actually got the back row, which means we're the back three here. This is exciting. So everyone's on board. We've just got our Prosecco. And we've got orange juice. Get a hot chocolate, finally. Yeah! Finally! And we're just waiting to push that now, aren't we? She's also excited. We'll show the menu actually, then people oh, can yeah. see. So it's a starter is a quinoa, butternut squash and crumbled feta cheese salad with a rustic ciabatta roll and butter. Then mains, we've got a hearty chicken casserole with mustard mash and buttered savoy cabbage. Classic shepherd's pie, vegetables, creamy mustard mash, oh sorry, creamy mashed potatoes. Thai green vegetable curry with steamed jasmine rice and dessert is a chocolate and caramel crunch. So you choose, you get the starter, one of the mains and the dessert. And then, yeah, and then the mile high tea is a duo of sandwiches. So it's cheddar cheese and pickle on brown bread, egg mayo with chive on white bread, and mini patisserie is 11 posset cocks and walnut carrot cake, and a warm scone, cottage cream, and strawberry jam. And so I was very excited because after all, there's the Wonder Wall. Yeah, I was going to move on that reference. Well, it says Wonder, not Wonder. That is how you spell it. Wonders, W-O. Yeah, wonders as in I wonder what yeah. the wonder Oh, wonder. Oh, right, yeah. After all, there's the wonder wall. Well, yeah, I'll teach so the person who works in education. No, because I'm saying, like, after all, you're my wonder wall. Yeah, the song yeah. is wonder. <laughs> so it's not, I didn't yeah. forget that bit. It's wonders in the world. <clears throat> I know. So I'm saying, because the reference in the opening yeah, thing yeah. is on. So it says, if you're feeling a bit peckish, feel free to wander up to the gallery at the front of the cabin and help yourself to some tasty treats or a drink. Yep. Which Matilda's already spotted that. Yep, Matilda's already down the orange as well. So I don't know where that actually is. It's right at the front. Like um, the, the front was in the first mass, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just near there. Um, so we're going to have a break now and get ready to push back. What's good about these chairs is there's like two positions on them so you can go all the way back and recline or you can just kind of push the middle bit back a little bit as well. So you can have the middle bit back and the whole chair. But so before I tried it, I whip the whole chair back and this kind of curved like this, you can lean like that and it's so comfy like recline. So we have the way degree of being like <coughs> recline. But and then there's like a foot thing here as well so yeah. it's got her feet on it. So with your feet on that, recline back in your head like that, you could easily get to sleep. It's a lot, lot comfier. Um, yeah, just got away now, aren't we? Yeah. So we've just got our drinks and snacks and it's these pretzel things again. I still miss the um, sour cream and onion ones, I think it was, from Penn State, something, I still miss those. And I've got a lot of and Diet Coke, but they've just got an orange and lot of Diet Coke as well. I've got to get glasses as well, it's, it's nicer. Um, watching Top Gun and going well. So I tell this kid's meal has just come, she's got chicken nuggets with corn. Wonderwall. So they basically got pop chips, they've got cheese. 
cookies, popcorn, they've got little pretzels, biscuits, oh they've got naked bars, I love those, clothes, they've got little things of chocolates in here, orange cookies, and they've got lemonade, and tonic water, ginger ale, and bottles of coke. So it's actually really, really good. You can just maybe just pull up here and just help yourself. Can you tell that it's made up? There was Cadbury's hot chocolate on the drinks menu and she's got it in a proper cup as well. She's now undoing a biscuit ready to dip into it. You're loving life at the minute, aren't you, missus? Yeah. And we've just got our mid-flight organic pit molly. Still not as good as the fabs it used to get, but something nice just to keep you going. We've only got three hours left now, missus, haven't we? Um, it's been really good so far, so we'll see how we get on with this one now. We just got the mile high tick, my mile high tick, and it is cheddar cheese and pickle on brown bread, egg mayo with chive on white bread, and then we've got a lemon posset shoe and a walnut carrot cake with a warm scone, potted cream, and strawberry jam. So it looks really nice. So these are the two little sandwiches here, and you've got your cream and your jam with your scone. You've got your little lemon posset shoe and the cake there and then I've actually got a mug of tea. It's so exciting having like a whole mug of tea. I did it well and truly like, tucked into hers. Yes, Almost well. gone. <laughs> I've just realised that's zoomed in. That's why it looks so weird. It's all zoomed in. Oh yeah, I'm the pants excited because it's gone his plane not got the um, currents in it like you normally get. Um so it's very happy. So we'll let you know what happens after so, that. So I've got to say that was the best afternoon tea that we've had wasn't it? Yeah. Really enjoyed it being a plain stop. Um, so I think we're all done with the meals and that now. We've got an hour until we land. And we've loved this flight, haven't we, so far, Mrs? It's the best flight I've ever been on. Best flight I'm ever. Hoping, but um, there's one thing that I want to point out. If you do want more of the Captain Dolls, you will have to book them because okay. they go all the way through economy before they come to oh, premium yeah. and business. Uh, so anyway, we've just got to chill out now, use the touring books, and then we've got a less than an hour to land. And we have landed. So we're just waiting for our cases. We've had two cases come off so far. So we've got one more case to come off. But they've put all that little pretty Christmas things on there. I think that's really nice, isn't it, Matilda? It's really nice and Christmas. Yeah. It was really quick coming through. Um, so Aunt did try and request special assistance again. Um, and it wasn't like in Orlando, there was nobody there for us. But there was lots of people with wheelchairs, um, but nobody had names. Or, I don't need a wheelchair, but that's what they did in Orlando. They kind of gave me a wheelchair. Um, I didn't use it in the end, we just kind of walked. Um, but when we got to like near the queue, the lady saw my sunflower lanyard and she was like, oh, are you all together? And I said, yes. And she basically directed us along the line, uh, along the back, opened up some of the kind of barrier things that were there and took us right through and then behind a queue for one of the numbers. So we were like the fourth family queuing behind one of the numbers to go through, wasn't we? Um, so we got through really quickly. So it is now 20 past three New York time. Um, so we landed a little bit early as well. We've got through security really quick. The wait for security was 55 minutes. It was posted um, saying 55 minutes. Um, not secure, is it border control? I can't think what it's called. Um, but anyway, so we're just literally waiting for one more bag now and then we are going to go and get in our taxi that we've pre-arranged through the hotel we're staying at and then we will catch up soon. Hello, so fast forward a little bit of time and we have arrived at our hotel which is called Mint House. It is absolutely stunning. I didn't have time to show you the building downstairs because um, the taxi driver kind of like brought us in and everything. And when we came in, it was like down this really weird alleyway and I thought, oh my gosh, this looks awful. The scaffolding all outside the building. But you come in and it is just beautiful inside. I can't wait to show you how gorgeous it is downstairs. But I'm just going to show you the room for now. So we're room 506. So it's called Mint House, Anne, is it? Yeah. yeah. So this is like the entrance. Well, just go and stand. So you just go in. It's okay, just go in. Just go in, just go in. Just go in now. <laughs> Um, so this is the entrance way. So we've just got all our luggage on a luggage rack here, but just so you can see how big this entrance way is. And I'm gonna shut the door behind me here. Oh, I can't because I've put the lock on it. Look at this. So this is like all our luggage I've put here. Got all the space. Then as we come in, like on the left here, it's like a massive walk-in wardrobe. It's absolutely huge. 
there's loads of space to put our clothes and everything. I've got a huge safe. We've got robes, we've got pillows, extra blankets, loads of towels, uh, iron and ironing board. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah, I just around here. Really cool. This must be like to hang, put like your keys or stuff like that in a mirror. Then there's another little closet here, which I've just hung the coats up in. So that's where I could put like coats and shoes and things in there. And then straight ahead is like the first kind of little room. So this is actually a sofa bed. So this is going to be Matilda's bed. So this pulls out to be a sofa bed. So it's like a separate kind of, there's not really much in this little bit to be honest. It is a bit kind of random in a way. You think it would have just had an actual bed in it, but I suppose it, people are just want it more as like a little bit of a chill out area because there's no TV or anything. Um, it's kind of a lamp on the wall there. And then that's the front door where we came in. So this is kind of Matilda's little area here. Then we're gonna go this way into the huge open space. I can't tell you how big this is. It's absolutely massive. So we've got another cupboard here which I said I think we could put the suitcases in there because there's no kind of hanging space. If anything, I said I wish there was a washing machine in there. Um, then there's just, there's just one bathroom, isn't there? And there's one bathroom, so it's not a huge bathroom. It is just kind of basic. Um, so there's toilet, mirrors. I don't think there's any storage on that, actually. Oh, yeah, there is. So there's kind of storage in that one. I don't know if there is one. Oh, yeah, and on that side. Oh, so there's some little... Things, oh yeah, amenities behind me are in the cabinet. So there's moisturizing in that one. Then there's some soap there. There's little cupboards here. So you've got bin, tissues. Oh, there's a hairdryer in there as well. Spare toilet roll, bin. Then we've got towels, bath mat, shower, and an um, next uh, uh, one that you can take off and a big one up there. Then you've got all these on the wall. So you've got peppermint shampoo, Cilantro hair conditioner and rum body wash. So look. Then on the back of the door, there is a little hook there so you can hang like your towels and stuff. And there's lots of artwork as well. There's lots of like these kind of pictures. Then we've got just kind of a random little thing with magazines and some paper. Then we've got a huge kind of countertop here. So it's got four chairs and then it's got I don't know what that like. There's like a roll of paper here. I don't know what that's for. Do you know what that's meant to be for, Anne? Yeah, like paper. And I don't know if these. Oh yeah, so they open. So that's like covered under there. Not that we're gonna fill any of this with anything at all. I don't know if that. Oh, it pulls out. It must be like a separate, like another little kind of bench top or something. Then we got like a little card with some Tate's Bake Shop, Southampton, New York cookies inside. And we also got some bottles of water, didn't we, as well, which we've put in the fridge. So we've got a bin here, full length mirror. And then look at this. It's like absolutely massive. Like this is a full, full, huge fridge. Yeah, boxed water is better. So it's a full, we're never going to fill this fridge because we're not going to have anything to put in it. And look at that, huge freezer as well. So we've got a fridge, freezer, then there's a storage up here. <laughs> I, I just want to point something out quickly. Then there's like loads of cupboards and stuff. It's like a full kitchen really, we're not going to use all this. Then there's glasses, mugs, various sizes of glasses. Coffee there's ke That's a kettle, isn't it, I think? Mm -hmm. Kettle. All different kind of teas here. So you've got Earl Grey, Zen Tea, Refreshing Mint Tea. Oh, Mint House Brew Barista Level Coffee in five minutes. So it looks like they've got a sachet of coffee yeah, there and takeaway filters, yeah. cups and the filters and stuff, yeah. I wonder if they refill your coffees and stuff like the yeah. And there's a selection of kind of pans and stuff yeah, under that one. <laughs> under the sink, we've got some scourers and some dishwasher tablets. That's good. A hand soap there. And we've got, oh, I like them plates and bowls. Mm. And then like some proper, but that's like good, like bowls to put in the fridge, isn't it? Like yeah. if you've made too much food. Gosh, you're sleeping at home. <laughs> oh, toaster. 
Oh, there's coffee. another coffee thing. Oh, no. Gosh, wow, there's a proper percolator mm. with more. Wolfgang, Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> yeah. Wolfgang Puck coffee, full percolator. Then you've got your cutlery in there as well, a full toaster. Um, this is a dishwasher. And then look at this. My gosh, we're not even going to use this, I doubt it. Look at that, all the bait, all the wear inside it, full range hood. This is a huge microwave as well. Yes. Crikey. Huge microwave. It's just a stuff there. But I'm just showing like all this stuff. Look at that. Oh, another kettle. That's an actual kettle for the stove, isn't it? Measuring jug. Knife block. Then in here you've got more like scissors, measuring cup, can opener, tin opener. Oh, little um, pencils in there. Tea towel. Honestly, <laughs> I can't believe how big it is. Then we've got a huge, oh, they're good bits. So they look like bean bags. I know. I just noticed them, like comfy bean bags you can sit on. Yeah, this is cool, like this nice little lamp thing there. Then there's like proper speakers here, a phone, a big TV, remote, and then they've actually got a vinyl record player. I can't actually, with actual real records as well. So, like, you can really play records on it. It's so funky. Another big picture. I love these walls as well. It's like that kind of. Yeah, it's like it's like the concrete though. I think it's yeah. wallpaper, but yeah, it's like it's rendered. Wallpaper. It's like rendered walls, but it's not really, is it? And then this is our bed. So your bed is kind of like right next to your kitchen. It's kind of open yeah. plan. Apart from obviously Matilda's is where that radiator is there. That's where the sofa is, is where so Matilda's is. So Matilda is like separated a bit, which is nice because she's got like our own little sofa bed space down there. Then obviously she, the toilet's just there, so she's near the toilet as well, we all are. You can come in here and be in the kitchen. There's a lovely little chair here to sit on, a little stool. Then there is USB ports here, I can see. And on the other side as well. Yep, and there's little lamps, they're nice. There's USB ports and lamps and plugs. And then, oh, what's this? Like a, just a little bench to sit on and put your shoes on or something another one there and then the view we don't actually have a view um you'll see literally we've just got like it's office blocks isn't it but if you see there like that's kind of like what the building is like inside uh, it must be a really old building and they must obviously be doing it up because it is honestly when we go down in a bit i will show you because it is absolutely beautiful the deck like the deck de not decor what's it called decor, decor yeah um so you can see like up there the buildings and stuff like that it is it's beautiful i can't believe how big it is like it honestly it's very quiet isn't it as well really really quiet yes matilda they have no normal taste so you can't have a normal cup of tea it's earl grey yeah earl, earl grey is almond. like normal yeah but like tea. some people don't, well, they don't like, like they don't have pe yeah oh, a lot of people yeah that. a lot of people know to bring their own kind of like drinks like when set. you come on holiday and your own tea and things when you come on holiday but it's nice because it's like a nice soft rug there's so when you jump out of bed yeah. your feet are on the rug but then this is kind of all like this i just can't believe the space mm. this is just like utterly amazing isn't it yeah. and then like all the way back to the front door here so Matilda's got a lovely cosy area here. Oh, she's already got a switch I out, biscuits, all kinds of stuff, a book. And then obviously she's just close to us because we're just like right there. And then like the wardrobes here. What's her? Yeah, I think it's nice that we've got all this space. Like even like at night time when you come back, you could just kind of lie on there and read your book for a bit and chill. There's another chair. Um, oh, funky. Like a pegboard. Yeah, like you can probably like meant to like hang keys on them and stuff, aren't you? I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, but I think we're just gonna end that here for now. And like I said, we are here. Um I told you about the security and stuff, but our bag did come off eventually, only about another five, ten minutes after I think I filmed. But it took an hour and forty minutes. An hour and forty minutes to get here in a taxi. Was it? Oh. Okay, long time. I think because of the, he said he needs traffic like mad at this time of year. He said it's really busy, um, but he said it's one of the one of the best hotels to stay in, didn't he? Though. Yeah, he said we've got a really good. He hotel. said you've got a really good hotel. He said the amenities are amazing. So there's a shop downstairs as well. The hotel has its own shop. It has a gym. It has laundry facilities on the sixth floor. Um, so obviously, as the week goes on, we'll show you more and more of it. But I think we're going to have a little get together of ourselves now, and then we'll catch up soon. Okay, so we've come out of the hotel. 
and Aunt Liz had him and he didn't want to film because he was going to do it later and I was like no you've got to film this because everything is just like so beautiful look at this my gosh it is absolutely amazing so it is the subway station then we've got the world um the one world tower is right there as well and all the colors keep changing on the bottom of it there so pretty and then we think this is oh yeah it is the national september the 11th memorial museum and that has literally taken us not even five minute walk has it about five minutes from our hotel so at least there's something that we know we can walk to oh well look at the helicopter going on the top this is just it's just so amazing isn't it absolutely amazing okay so we've finished in target we had to like seriously refrain ourselves which for us is a really hard thing to do because we realize that we've got to carry it back <laughs> and it's not like it's far but it's obviously heavy when you're trying to carry like water and milk so we ended up getting one big thing of water that we can decan into bottles yeah. and take out during the day and then we can come back tomorrow and get another one we've got a big thing of milk that should last a couple of days we've got a box of cereal we got a loaf of bread that was four dollars and butter was five dollars for a thing of butter and um, but it should last us like the, the whole time we hear that butter, butter. Yeah, butter. Um, and the bread should last a couple of days yeah. we've got a loaf of bread so we've kind of got bread butter cereal milk water we've got some little christmas sugar cookies didn't we for the room yeah. we've got some chips ahoy um i think that was oh we've got some aspirin some paracetamol some aprofen I, mean, I think that was it, wasn't it? Um, feels like more than that. Oh, yeah, because it was fifty dollars, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we got a big bottle of Mountain Dew, which is a lot. Fifty dollars, really, for that. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, we got a pack of a hundred paracetamol, a hundred. Then again, the hundred paracetamol was only two dollars fifty. Yeah. A hundred ibuprofen was two dollars fifty. Five hundred. Aspirin, yeah. When we get back to the hotel, I'll lay it all out and I'll do a yeah. proper little report. But look how beautiful that is there as well. Yeah everything is just like so beautiful look at oh, that's where we came we came this way didn't we because this is what i didn't show you on the way here because you were like no don't film don't film and i think that's the empire state building there see with a little but what's that with a spike on the top that is the empire state one because it looks like that at the top with the glass i know Oh, maybe. Look, the Empire State Building looks similar to that though, because it goes up like that, like those little turrets. Yeah, possibly. We'll have to like Google map it <laughs> when we get back to the room. We'll have to like see what's in our local. Because yeah, obviously you look before you come, don't you? But until you're actually here, you don't kind of know. I am not going to the Empire State Building. But there is like a Burger King right here. We've also realised there's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Banana Republic here, there's Subway, yeah, and then there's all, what? Oh, what's that then? Oh, no, we're always we know that's there then. There's Century 21. I can't wait to go there because I went there last time I came and it's basically like a massive kind of department place, but everything was like really good prices. And my sister got like boots when we came. 12 years ago that she'd bought seven years previous to that and she was the best boot she's ever bought and so there's all like little are oh, you going on the wrong side of the road now oh, right. <laughs> there's all like little um individual little huts here selling food um, oh there's a hank's pizza whoever hank is could be tom hanks tom hanks could be selling his pizza and here it is look how pretty it is three, one, two, three. So beautiful! Until I can't believe how beautiful it is. That really is like a beautiful sight, isn't it? I'm gonna try and take a picture. So they've got like a little kind of Mexican grill here. And they've got this one here, so like funky purses and hats and things. These actually look like the hats that Matilda's got where you press the button and the ears flop up. Um, that one's like a bit of a Chinese. This one looks like them as well here. These are definitely them because that's Matilda's one, but they've got like a panda version. And then they've got proper little street food ones over there. Look at those. <laughs> that is like so cool. Absolutely love it. 
Right, so I am going to stop now just so I can catch my breath a minute oh. and see what we're going to get up. Okay, we've ended up in McDonald's because I saw McDonald's was round the corner. But how interested in this? Happy Meals are a different price depending on what Happy Meal you get. So they have four piece chicken nugget Happy Meal, $5.39, six piece, $6.39, and a hamburger, $4.99. Really crazy, that one. Okay, so here we go, 70 Pine Street, New York. So you can see how it looks kind of a bit strange out here because it's literally a little street like this with all this kind of stuff on and this is like what we're facing up here but it's not it's like really really beautiful inside so i will take you in now i feel like elf i feel like elf in the revolving door it was going fast oh look at that what sorry blue park kitchen wow blackened chicken and moroccan carrots soft boiled eggs chicken and fennel slaw that's not bad either, is it like $13? Yeah. That looks lovely. Oh, this must be the shop. Black box. Oh, that's like a coffee house. Closed at four, you're out of luck. <laughs> so, mint house. This is, oh look, that's open 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. But look at the building. It is just absolutely, no, my sister will absolutely love this building because it's just like, she loves things like this like all the art deco it's absolutely beautiful isn't it i mean look at this it's just you would not think from standing outside there that this is inside here it is just beautiful and then we're gonna get the lift so that's kind of like where we checked in was there so that's a little thing there saying mint house that's how we checked in and then we're going to get the lift up to the room now and then here we are out of the lift and look at these corridors even the corridors are just like amazing it's absolutely crazy like it's beautiful like this is like so beautiful and modern in here isn't it it's madness all these like pictures of women everywhere isn't there and then here we are so we're going to go back in so I just wanted to fill the McDonald's that we got. So I got a chicken nugget meal in Matilda because you got six chicken nuggets, fries, and an apple juice. And then the kids' games at the minute is Operation. How funky is that? But what I also love is that they actually come in a little box as well, the chicken nuggets, not like at home. Yeah, just in like a packet. Yeah, right? it's like a box. And your fries still come in a little packet, but at least you can do that with it then, like that, mm. which I think is pretty sure. funky, isn't it? So we're going to tuck in because it's already gone a little bit. So cold. here is our little shopping haul. So I've got the receipt as well. Um, the aspirin, so we got 500 aspirin, that was $5. Oh yeah, I was confused about some of the prices, wasn't I? The ibuprofen, we got 100 ibuprofen, that was 229 and the paracetamol was 249 I think they're really cheap. Um, the sugar cookies, they were 399 Should have been 449 but we got this count. Um, and then General Mills, that with be the cereal. Um, the cereal was 5 589 Five eighty nine for the cereal. Uh, the butter, I can't believe it's not butter. So it's not even butter. Five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Five dollars. Uh, Tuscan. What's Tuscan? Milk. Milk. So the milk was two dollars fifty again. That's expensive. Uh, blueberries three thirty nine. I think that's reasonable for the amount of blueberries that you got. That's reasonable for the milk for that. Mm. Okay. Um, and then we got the Mountain Dew, that was 2 39 and the 5 cents deposit for the bottle, which I think is really good. They were on about introducing that at home. So how much is the Quaker? I've not got to that yet. Oh, um, the water was one fifty nine. for that huge thing of water, what is it? It's um, a gallon, so nearly 4 litres. Um, and then the cookie bars were three nineteen. Mm -hmm. um, for the cookie the bars ahoy. and the chips ahoy, the most important thing, they were 5 89 that's ridiculous. Know, that's what was crazy. the bread? The bread yeah, was $4. Was it $4? Mm, $3.99. And these bags are good because yeah. we're going to use bread. these now. Like tomorrow we're going to go yeah. again. No, I think we've just got to keep going and get a new one so we can have them shopping at home. <laughs> I think they're funky. Yeah, because they are nice. But like, yeah. I said, like, the, like that milk and cereal will last us a good 
day six so. days probably the cereal the bread will last a couple of days with butter so we can have like yeah. toast in the morning now we can have cereal or toast in the morning cereal bars if we're in a bit of a rush to run out yeah. water to decant into the one bottles bottle and know. it's only because people have said don't drink the tap water over here what? i heard someone say you shouldn't drink the tap water from a different region because sometimes it can make you sicky oh, no. Um, anyway, um, so we're going to pop this away. And I've got just to kind of go with the cereal, so we've yeah. got a little bit of fruit in us. So I'll put this away. You'll go start unpacking because you won't let me near the unpacking. Yeah, I'm going to start having a look. And then I think we'll go crash. Yeah, because it's ten past seven now. So Which is ten past nine, midnight. 10, 11, midnight. So we've yeah. now been awake for 18 hours. Um, yeah, so we're doing so well. Late. Um, so thank you for making it this far. Yeah. <laughs> if you're new here, please make sure you've liked and subscribed. And it's bye for now. Yeah. We'll see you at the Empire State Building in the morning. Bye for now, but a massive thumbs up for this room as well. Yeah. I'm so pleased with it. <laughs>